What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and we're taking a look at Sony's new Xperia X line here at Mobile World Congress 2016. So there are three devices here. We have the Xperia X Performance, Xperia X, and the Xperia XA. Instead of the glass and metal designs of previous Sony phones, the bodies of the new X line is constructed entirely of metal and it looks and feels quite nice, but the overall design with the rectangular and somewhat boxy look is still very reminiscent of other Sony phones that we've seen in the past. The Xperia X Performance is the highest end model of the bunch. It comes with the latest Snapdragon 820 processor, three gigs of RAM, a 1080p display on the front, waterproofing capabilities, and a fingerprint sensor embedded into the side mounted power key, which we weren't able to test out because the demo units were pre-production, but we assume it probably works just the same as the Z5 Premium. There's a 13 megapixel camera on the front for all of your self portraits. And along the rear is a new 23 megapixel lens and it's a pretty familiar Sony camera experience. But one new feature that Sony was touting was the hybrid autofocus, which is supposed to do a really good job of tracking moving objects to prevent motion blur when snapping a photo. But this is something we're gonna have to test out later when we're not dealing with a prototype with unfinished hardware and software. The Xperia X is identical to the X Performance in a lot of ways, but there are a few key differences. It doesn't have the same brushed metal backing or waterproofing capabilities, and you're getting a Qualcomm Snapdragon 650 processor instead, but otherwise the majority of the specs like the 1080p display, cameras, and fingerprint sensor are pretty much all the same. The Xperia XA is the mid-range model out of the bunch, but it's probably the most eye-catching. The five inch display on the front is only 720p, but it runs edge to edge, which really makes the phone stand out. And the glass ever so slightly curves along the sides. The rest of the specs are also fairly run of the mill. Instead of a Snapdragon processor, you're dealing with a MediaTek chipset, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, micro SD card expansion, a 2300 milliamp hour battery, an eight megapixel camera on the front and a 13 megapixel camera on the rear. They're all running on Android Marshmallow with Sony's Xperia UI on top, which should be a familiar experience for any hardcore Sony user. But one big change that you'll notice is it's a lot cleaner with flatter and more simplistic looking icons over the 3D-ish looking ones of previous versions. And overall, it just blends in a lot better with the material design aspect of Android. The Xperia X line will be available sometime this summer, and that's about as specific as Sony is willing to get right now. But we'll definitely keep you up to date on AndroidAuthority.com. This has been a quick first look and hands-on of the Xperia X line by Sony here at Mobile World Congress 2016. Stay tuned for the rest of our coverage.